on a second. Facebook's messing with us again tonight. Let me see. I have to have my camera backwards. So, well, that's pretty good. Huh. All right. Hello. Welcome to Chocolate One. My name's Beth. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And I went to set up my live tonight and Facebook has removed that little um, reverse button so that you don't see everything backwards. So I have the back of my camera facing to me so I see not, I can't see the comments coming on. But I have my iPad here so I'll be looking over here for checking for comments. But eh, minor setback, that's it. <laughs> Oh, um, thank you, thank you for joining tonight. If you're watching, um, please drop me a comment, say hello, like and follow my Facebook page, and if you would S-H-A-R-E this to your other DIY crafty friends, I would sure appreciate that, that'd be awesome. So, let's get started here. I received uh, the chalk. What's it called? Let me see. Chalk Made Season's Best Kit. Let me show you. It came as a whole kit. Um, these are the directions. And um, so it has everything you need in this kit. This um, it comes with this cute little frame, um, these two transfers, paste, squeegee, um, little embellishments for it. So we're gonna work on that tonight. And I want you to know that I have three extras of these. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit from me, drop kit in the comments and I will uh, message you about that. So I don't need that box anymore. What a busy day. I don't know, you can see my wall is empty again behind me. I took some things up to the consignment shop. So normally, I don't cut my transfers apart, but I'm going to cut these today um, because it's such a it's such a different shaped transfer. It's kind of like our A size transfer those, um, in that it's the same width, almost almost not quite. It's even a little bit bigger and a little taller. So today I'm going to cut on the cut lines. So you can do that, you just want to mark on the back of each and every one. So let me find my, and when I have three little pieces like this, what I do is give them numbers on the front and the back. So one, two, three, this will be one, two, three. And then we'll write back on this. It is cold today here. We're talking snow tonight. I think we'll get a little dusting of snow. The mountains all got dusted last night, so it's heading in our direction. I really needed that night off last night, I'll tell you. It was a hectic week. I got to, um, I have a friend whose husband has Alzheimer's and he had not been bathing. It had been months since he'd bathed. So I was able to help coordinate care to get him a shower yesterday and so I was in back over in another town for a few hours yesterday and I just needed to get home. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just pulling the transfer. If you're not familiar with our transfers, they are a vinyl silk screen. They're reusable eight to 12 times. They're not a stencil that actually has a silk screen mesh in here. So what we're going to do first is put some fuzz on that because the back is very sticky and it's a material type of vinyl and I don't want to stretch my transfer when I pull it up off of my surface. Isn't this such a pretty board? I just, I love this wood frame on it. And I love that it's, um, we have 
fall on one side and Christmas on the other. Pretty excited about this little kit. They are unfortunately not going to be available anymore. Let me give you one tip if you're doing this. Make sure that you look that you have your screw hole at the bottom of the frame because it's going to sit, it's going to screw into this cute little stand. You don't want to do it upside down. I don't want to do it upside down or the transfer upside down. So let's get this on here and it fits exactly perfect. I mean this is foolproof. I'm just going to push out my air and it also comes with all the directions on how to do this. I think I will follow their lead. I'll use the same colors that they use. They use gold and um, bright white and so it comes with those paste packets. There's plenty of paste in these three. But since I have my jars already opened, I'm going to do that. Let's see. Hey, Carolyn. Cold but say Hi, Barb. Thank you guys for joining. Hi, Elsie. Oh, thanks, Barb. <laughs> Barb says this is a good color on me. This is my Auburn Crest sweatshirt. I love it. Auburn Crest is the hospice company that I work for on a um, kind of a PRN basis. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get the bright white on first and then we'll do the little golden leaf accents. Dip my squeegee in here in my paste. And just going to go to town here. Make sure I stay away from the gold leaves. Yesterday we also got seven new chickens and one rooster. We have never had a rooster before and um, he is, his name is Peanuts and he is a Cochin rooster. He's got, um, he has feathered feet. His feet are so fluffy looking. <clears throat> and he has the coolest crow. It's not obnoxious. Um, so I was really glad. That was the one hesitation I had about getting a rooster. But we want to try and um, um, propagate our little farm here a little bit more so if we could get some free chicks that the mamas want to sit on since we have broody hens that would be awesome so we just about got this covered I'll leave it on a little bit thick then we'll go through and scrape up that white and then a mixture of other um, types of hens and they're between one and two years, I think he said. Some friends of ours that are um, going to take off for a couple of months. So, okay, so that's on. I'm going to see how fast this goes. Let me grab my gold here. I have my multi-purpose tool. And I'm going to get this on here. This is a pretty, I just love this idea, and I, I don't, um, it came out, I don't know, I think, you know, it's been one of those things that's been sitting on a ship for four, five, six months, and so they finally just came in, and they said, this is it, they're not going to get any more. So, like I said, if you want one, uh, message me. So I have three extra. I liked them so much. I'll take one up to the consignment shop 
just think it's really nice to be able to just see how it works with the small squeegee. Let me see if I have one here, since that's what comes with the kit. Let me try that. My gold paste is old. It's from last year, so it's not the most pliable paste. It's kind of a little thicker, I think. But I think we can make it work. We're almost done. not to get my sleeve in it and run it through there. And you could, of course, you could do this any color you wanted to. Those little leaves would be nice done in a, you know, I love the hot mess for fall, so. All right, let's scrape that up. And then we'll go through here and scrape our white off. Hopefully it didn't dry on me. And I need the little pokey tool for the corner here. It's really, really up in there. Oh, it's very pretty. That little bit of white that I got in that oak leaf actually looks really pretty. I'll hold it here. I can't tell you. If you I can't see. Oh, now I see it. It's pretty. Okay. I'm going to wash this. I have my tub of water over here. I don't know why Facebook does that. Um, you know, I didn't even check because I wasn't going to go live last night. I didn't even check the, the settings. They'll let you put any kind of goofy face you want on there, though. You can have laser eyes. You can have big kissy lips or sparkles coming down. But if you want to change your camera so people don't have to read your stuff backwards, that, that button disappears like every third week. God bless them. Okay, I'm going to let this dry over here on the side. There. Paper towel. And let's dry that before we do the other side. Fun, fun, fun. Alzheimer's also killed, and so did my dad. I mean, this poor, this poor man, I think it had been like almost seven months, and they were kind of just at their wit's end, and so it was really, it was really nice being able to help coordinate that care and step in as a professional, as a nurse, and to let him know that doctor's orders here um, this is not something you can refuse today because my friend had he drove an hour and a half to get there to take care of him. And we call it, um, with Alzheimer's, we call it therapeutic fibbing. And it's okay. So, he finally got in there and he needed it. Luckily he didn't have any skin breakdown, so that was very fortunate. And now we'll get we'll get that set up so he gets a um, gets um, an appointment to be bathed a couple times a week or at least once a week. Okay, that we're gonna flip that over. And we're gonna get our this little guy. Hmm, I wonder where those. Well, there they are. There's little 
discs to put these little guys on. Cute. And do the same thing. Let's fuzz this one now. I can just find the edge that it's going to roll up. You want to pull these straight up, not on a diagonal, for that uh, stretching reason we were talking about earlier. Scoot him up a little bit. we didn't freeze up. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to move that. I, I think the front one is dry, but I don't want to smudge it with my towel if it's not. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It sure is. The snow coming. There we go. Now, I think they did. Red for the little framed area, white for in here, and then they accented little gold stars. So we will just do that. Let's get our candy apple red. And that needs to get stirred up. a jar of water and I must have left it on the sink. Oh well. Grab it from the tray. Did we freeze up you guys? I don't know. It looks like I'm froze over here. Oh well. I'll keep going and see what happens. I'm going to use the multi-purpose tool to get the little the red around the edge. Maybe I'll do the white first because it's a larger area. That's what I'll do. Except for the little stars. Leave it on a little bit thick. Well darn, I think I think it did go off. I don't know.
Okay, we'll go back and scrape that down. Now let's do our red here. The thing that's nice about this uh, multi-purpose tool is that you hold it like a pencil, so sometimes in situations like where it's kind of a tight fit, I feel like I have a lot more control. Oh shoot, except for right there where I just put white in it. Darn it. Maybe I can go over that a little bit more. Try not to get on the... getting little flecks of white in there here and there so I should probably just try and incorporate I'm doing a good job <laughs> of incorporating white in every so often I'm gonna leave that and now let me wipe this off and we'll get those stars in gold and that'll be pretty Okay, oops, one down here. Now I'm going to go through, oh dear. Well, if you don't like how this turns out, then remember you can always go back through, clean it off because it's a reusable tray and reusable silk screen. And you know what? Sometimes it doesn't come out the way you want it to the first time, so. I use hardly any paste, so it's not really wasteful. Let's pull this up. Mm, it did get white in that frame in places, but that's okay for today's purposes. I'm going to wash this off. Swish some of that paste off of it first. And then I take my board eraser and get the rest of the paste off the front and off the back. And then flip your flip your transfer over. And just run your board eraser over the back of it to remove any of that fiber fuzz that you put on when we fuzz these. Okay. I wonder what I would maybe do if you don't like the candy cane look that I got in a couple of places. I'll show you. Is um, once my once I dry my transfer. Um, then I can lay it back down and redo that one area where I mix the red and the white. But a candy cane, you know what, doing like a, 
a hot mess with the red and the white where you're not actually mixing it together because you would get pink. Um, it would look really cute to have stripes in there with that. All right, so let's set that aside to dry. And then let me show you what else comes in this cute little kit. Toss that in there. Toss that in there. Cover these up. All my tools are going to go in here today. They also come with this little kit of embellishments. They're, these are double sided. So you could put a little, what is that, ribbon? Kind of like a little piece of ribbon. So you can hang them like this. So let's do, let's like do the snowflake. So I love snowflakes. Uh-oh, kitty cats are grumbling out there at each other. And let's do joy. Or the Christmas wreath. That'd be cute. I'll do it in gold. Oh, what a cute little snowflake. Let's see. Hi, Teresa. What size is this? This is, um, are you familiar with Chalk Couture? And then I'll, I'll explain, depending on your answer. Because it's an odd, it's an odd size. It was made special for this kit. It's a little bit longer and a little bit wider than the a size 5x7 transfer. So there's a little snowflake. That's cute. And I think we'll do the wreath gold too. It'll be pretty up there. You could take your time and do those little berries red if you wanted to. There we go. A little wreath. I don't know why my screen over here. I might sign out and sign back in on my iPad and see if that helps unfreeze it. When I dry these and they're wet, I always dry them sticky side up because they will stick like crazy to your um, table. Let me do that. Let me go out of that because I want to be able to catch comments if I can. Um, you you were wondering if it was a B size. No, it's it's it's. Well, I'll show you the difference here. This is it's wet still. So this is the transfer that came with this kit, and this is a B size transfer. So you can see, and then this is. 
an A size transfer. Let me do it this way. So you can see it's bigger than an A but smaller than a B. I don't know. I really, really like the surface, the frame that came with it. So, I don't know. All right, let's dry those so we can do the other side. these little leaves. They're super cute. I hope that was dry on that side. And how about this little acorn? I didn't even fuzz them because they're so tiny. Look at the acorn going down. And let's do those in gold also. Cute little accent pieces. Stick over there for a second, acorn. I'm glad dinner's already cooked. I made a pot roast today and it looks delicious. Oh, that is so cute. That little chip. I like it. Okay, so let's clean this up. So I have space to work here. Hi, Sherry. How are you today? So it comes with this neat little stand. Oh boy, I've got some cleanup to do on this frame too. Get that red off of there, red paste off of there. So when you're doing this, make sure that you have that you're positioning your your design so that the screw hole is on the bottom. I just love this little stand they put it on though. And then we're gonna thread this. Let's see, let me do the do the acorn first. And then we'll do this little guy here. Oh, they tie it one at each end. That makes sense. We'll put a little knot in this. I thought they kind of um, overlapped on each other, but we're doing it like this. Might be too long. 
of a ribbon. I don't know. And then these just these just kind of hang on here like this. Let me show you. I think it's cute. I wish I could see it <laughs> in the front. Let's see, I'm going to go out of here. There it is. Okay, good. What do you guys think? Do you like this project? I thought it was a lot of fun to do. I've got a little cleanup to do on this side. Okay, so then you flip it over to this side and then you flip your little doohickeys to the Christmas side. Did I do it? There. Or you don't have to have these on if you don't want to. This is the idea though. So anyways, I think that's pretty cute. Pretty cute idea. All right, that's it for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow at 4.30. Um, until we chop again, take great care. If you, oh, thank you, Carolyn. If you have questions about this project or you're interested in this kit, message me and I'll get you the information. I have three available. So I will talk with you soon. Take care.